All right, everyone, welcome out to this training tonight. I am so fired up to have all of you here with us. It is absolutely phenomenal what is taking place right now. And what I want to do tonight is I want to cover a couple things before we get started. I have to make a major, major announcement. Tonight, we are revealing something that is going to be seen as a team for the first time and dare I say is absolutely going to change the momentum of this team and it's going to change the success that people are having and it's going to upgrade that on a massive, massive level. So give me a 777 in the chat box if you are ready to upgrade, you are ready to go to a whole nother level, you're ready to take your trading experience, you're ready to take your ability to impact people and teach people to a whole nother level level guys welcome out to this call i see my video is a little bit delayed so what i'm going to do is i'm going to switch it over okay perfect 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 guys once again i am fired up to have all of you here it's so exciting what is going on with this team i can say for the first time i'm truly experiencing everything that i've desired to experience by being able to help people in this market and be able to teach people what's going on in the forex market so i want to cover a couple of things before we begin number one a major major announcement is here we are now going to be giving away what you are seeing tonight to every person who is active on the team with a client subscription, okay? So only the people who are at least paying $99 and above as a client is going to have the ability to actually get access to this. If you're just an IBO, you will not get access to this. You must be a client and that's a reward and a bonus that we're going to be offering everyone who is a client in our organizations, okay? This was created for one reason only, to help people go to a whole nother level trading and to make trading much more simple. Give me a yes in the chat box if you're ready for trading to be more simple and more profitable, okay? So let me cover a couple things before Coach Max comes on here and shows you the new 20 pips and dip indicator. I want you guys to listen to me carefully. We are creating massive, massive momentum right now. We are in the middle of a financial crisis, a health crisis with the outbreak of the coronavirus. And I wanna cover a couple house rules before we start off with, okay? Now, it's really big that all of you guys hear me. Promoting Tradera, talking about the success that you are having is absolutely encouraged, but it's how we go about it, okay? One thing that I ask all of you, if you are posting um, profits on Forex and you're showing your results, make sure that you add a disclaimer and if you could actually cover the dollar amounts um, that you are showing, okay? Show pips more than dollars. When you're showing dollars, the regulators actually consider that enticement. If you're showing pips, that's entirely legally okay. And one thing that I wanna encourage everybody is beyond just talking about your results in dollar amounts, talk about the results of the company. Okay, we have over 7,000 pips that have been caught since January, and it's really big that we as a company, we stay compliant, okay? Right now, everybody is home, and even the regulators, there's so many people that's watching what network marketing is doing, and one thing that we desire, and I want you to give me a yes in the chat box if you agree with me, that this is something that lasts long time, okay? This is a long time term situation, not something that we just make a little bit of money with here, but people get reckless with their posting, they get reckless with how they're marketing, and now at this point, it becomes problematic and potentially can cause issues for the companies and yet all of us, okay? So one thing that I ask all of you is that we clean up our marketing, we make sure that we're not just showing dollar amounts, we're putting disclaimers on everything. Another word of advice as well from the regulators, they're stating that we cannot just be targeting people with the coronavirus or just the whole economy right now talking specifically about the coronavirus. So one thing that I wanna encourage everybody is when we're marketing this, talk more about the economy. Talk about what's going on in the economy, the fact that we're having a major crash right now. Don't specifically just tar target coronavirus because they're also considering that enticement because people are using um, an economic crisis right now, specifically a, a health crisis, as a way to lure people into the network marketing industry. So let's be big that we're talking about the results that we're having from a company standpoint. Talk about the pips that you're catching, what you're about to start to get access to with this 20 pips and dip indicator. You are going to want to share about this so much more, and we ask that you share your pips. 
okay? Let's not get in trouble with the marketing, um, with the regula regulatory issues, and let's just be really smart about what we're doing. So if you guys are ready to see the 20 pips and dip indicator and you are ready for this training tonight, I need you once again to hit me with a 777 in the chat box right now because Coach Max is about to come on the line and we are about to explode this thing off. We've had a group that's been testing this now for the last week or so and the results have been mind blowing. The people that are testing this are messaging me every day and they're like, holy shit, Josh. Oh my God. You know, and I want you guys to know that this is about to make our trading experience so much better. And this is giving everybody the ability to give this to the new people that are coming in absolutely free just for joining your Tradera business, just for being a part of this organization. Listen to me carefully. It is free. We are not charging people to get access to this. This is going to be a bonus for everybody who is a client, okay? So we're going to touch on a couple more things as this call continues, but we want you to know that we are here to help you have an amazing experience. So many companies, the price is just way too high. The average person, they don't have the ability to come in and learn. They don't have the ability to continue to pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So we're making sure that everybody has the ability to win. They're only paying 90 $99. And myself, David Max, we've worked relentlessly with the programmers and made sure that everybody could have access to this. And we covered all the costs in order to make sure that we could give it to the team 100% free as a bonus. So Coach Max, can you hear me? I can hear you, Josh. Thank you so much. I hope you guys are super duper excited and fired up. But before I even cut the charts on, I'd like to uh, introduce my business partner, my bro, David Lisiaga, future legend, coming up, the first legend of Trade Dare. You guys give it up to David real quick. He's going to come in and chime in before I hop on the charts. Y'all know when I start talking. <laughs> David, are you there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm here. That's how come I wanted to get in before you started talking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Go ahead and take it away. Yo, Blake is ridiculous. He said David is my daddy. I love you too, Blake. <laughs> but listen, no, guys, I, I wanted to touch on just a couple things. Um, very quickly before we even go um into the indicator and and really begin to highlight number one how it came into existence. Number two, the important things that you need to know about timing and, um, and what this means specifically for your organization. So one thing that I don't like um, doing when it comes to something that is Forex-based is when people um, cut access off in the middle of the week. So I'm going to be very, very clear here, and, and I don't want anyone to get this misconstrued. The way that we are going to be, um, the way that we are going to be granting access is we will be checking a whole bunch of things. We will be checking your username. We will be checking your user ID. We will make sure that those add up. We will also make sure that you have a client membership and that you are active we will only be granting access to the indicator over the weekends, okay? And, and, and I want everyone to know that. Um, this week, we might, be, uh, we might be a little bit more lenient um, specifically and allow people that, you know, on Saturday request access because this is the first week. But what we don't want to get in the habit of is um, is – trying to either grant access or restrict access over the, or during the week. And the reason is because the markets are open and we do not want people that, um, that are using the indicator to suffer financially during the week. This also means, and this is incredibly important, that if there are people who are inactive on your team, who are not on this call right now, the moment it is done, you should be calling them up. You should be hitting them up and telling them, get your card on file because we're going to start granting access to the indicator over this weekend. And if you do not have your, if, if we, we still need to create the form on the 20 Pips and Dip website, which will also be done, you know, um, tomorrow. But if you have not submitted your request by then, 
you're not going to get it until next weekend. Okay? I, I, I want to be very clear about that because we cannot be taxing the Tradera system and, and searching for all this and granting or restricting access during the week. We need to be responsible about the way that we do this. Okay? Um, yes, please. Uh, and, and Max, I see that. If you guys have two devices on this call right now, we have other people that want to uh, get on, so sign off on one of your devices. Okay? Um, and so that's number one. Number two is I also want to highlight kind of how the indicator came to be. First and foremost, Max, you know, was working with another programmer. Um, I'm not going to talk bad about the programmer in any way, shape, or form because when they go low, we go high kind of thing. Um, but what I will say is that because of certain issues with his, with his marketing tactics and just overall demeanor, um, we never released it with him. But all the ideas that were presented and all the ideas that were programmed were Max's ideas. Um, and because of that, when Max decided not to release it, although he released it and charged the community for it, although those were not his ideas to profit off of, uh, Max and I decided to come together and really start to, um, really start to have a conversation about creating it specifically for trading view. Um, we know what's been said about us. Absolutely not true. We're not going to address it even more deeply than that, but what we will, but what I want to make sure that people understand is that if you are a programmer, the only thing that you hold copyright to is the code that you programmed. It is never the ideas that were given to you to program. And so, although there's confusion um, that is trying to be inserted into our team, I also want to be very clear that um, that the confusion comes from a lack of business experience. Because if you knew anything about copyright law, then you wouldn't say some of the stupid things that were, were said. That being said, um, that being said, I also want to be very clear. Although this is a bonus for the team, if we find what we consider unethical behavior from anybody in the team, we reserve the right to restrict your access and restrict your team's access. We, Max and I, when we started building this as a collective, Max is my sponsor, and we made a conscious decision um, to make sure that all of us were working together, even though all of us weren't going to be beneath me. And, um, and that's how come none of you that are sidelined to me have ever heard me say, I can't do that for you because you're not part of the team. Everything that I have done has been to encourage a cohesiveness within the organization. Yeah. Okay? So anything that, that challenges that or disrupts that will be checked, and then the support that we give can be withdrawn. So I'm just saying as a whole, guys, build ethically, use the bonus, we will have a bonus sales page that is uh, added to the free Forex system specifically for this indicator in the upcoming, in the upcoming um, days. We will have the form for you guys to fill out. and That'll be done by tomorrow. But just know on a weekly basis, and I want you guys to hear this one last time, on a weekly basis, we will check for everyone and to see who is active and who is not, and if your membership lapses over the weekend, then you will not have access to it if your membership lapses. Last thing that I'm going to say about this timeline is that means that we want everyone to change their recruiting habits just a little bit. It means that although typically Saturday and Sunday are the biggest days for new teammates, let's try to push that a little bit back to Friday. And the reason why I'm, I'm requesting that, I'm not saying that you recruit less. What I'm saying is let's make sure that Sunday is not the night that we're sitting there biting our nails, seeing who is, you know, staying active or how many more we need in order to hit our next rank. Let's be a little bit more proactive and get that done a little bit more, a, a little bit um, earlier so that we have great weekends and we could enjoy the fruit of our labor. Um, I'm incredibly excited about what's going on here. 
um, and Max is really going to get into the meat and the potatoes of everything. Awesome, awesome. Thank you so much, David. Y'all give a shout out to David and Josh. My bros, they just, y'all are powerful people. I love y'all. Hey, hey. I love y'all so much. Um, let Trey House all y'all ready. Like Josh would say, drop a 777 in the chat. <laughs> if you are ready to kick off the 20 pips and dip training, first and foremost, guys, thank you so much for rocking with me. Shout out to all of the new traders that have been literally digging into the training in the back office. Shout out to all of my international leaders, all of my international traders. I had you guys in mind when we decided to move away from um, MetaTrader 4 desktop. I understand that there's some people on the team that have MacBooks and, you know, have been um, having difficulty in downloading, um, you know, all of the different things that's been going on. So, you know, we're just going to keep everything. Yes, this is being recorded. We're going to keep everything on trading view. And I'm excited about that, guys. Are you guys excited about that, that you can have literally have access to this as long as you have Wi-Fi? That is just mind blowing to me. That was the first thing that I was so excited about. Like I can literally trade and use this 20 pips and dip indicator on the go. I don't have to be on my computer. Okay. You guys also um, make sure that you know, oh, oh. David didn't tell y'all. David didn't tell y'all something. Next week, guys, I'm going to show you the indicator on tonight. I'm going to show you how it correlates um, with the original 20 pips and dip. I did a top-down analysis last week from the daily time frame come down, and I'm going to show you guys how it integrates with the indicator. But next week, guys, we will have some live sessions, okay, from top traders on our team top traders from Lit Trade House, including myself. We will have live sessions, London, New York, and Asian session, and Ooh. you guys will be able to bring your prospects onto these calls. Let me say that again for the people in the back, Josh. I don't think they heard what I just I think They heard you. <laughs> I said we will have live sessions next week. We will give you guys a schedule of that live session. I'll be one of the traders trading on the live sessions guys and we will allow you to bring your prospects onto the training so that they can see the indicator okay and that's going to be an extra hundred dollars right max <laughs> so they'll be able to <laughs> josh stop playing <laughs> so they'll be able to preview okay our training our training they'll be able to see exactly what we got going on and at the end of the day, it'll just be, okay, y'all, y'all seen our trading, y'all seen our trading, y'all met our traders, come sign up with this 99 and come join the team. Let's get it, right? So I'm so excited, guys. <laughs> Everybody's so excited. I hope you guys are excited. We'll be releasing that schedule um, this weekend, definitely. So let me go ahead and share my screen. Y'all, I'm so excited because I remember when I was telling you guys about i had us i had something coming can you guys hear me can you guys see my screen everybody's good and um i used to trade uj when i first started guys three years ago i started trading uj because you know i had struggled with london right getting up i'm eastern standard time so that's like two three o'clock in the morning for me but i traded london a little bit but uj was my first pair and this week on Sunday, when the indicator came into my hands, I was like, I'm going to trade this pair with the indicator using a top down analysis, using the original 20 pips, and then seeing how it integrates with the indicator. And I can tell you right now that every trader that I had used this has caught a bare minimum of 300 to 500 pips this week bare minimum that we had a trader catch a thousand pips um on sunday i caught 150 pips on uj monday i caught uh 84 pips on uj and at that time like around tuesday morning i doubled my trading account i don't think they hear me i doubled my trading account using this indicator with one pair let me check the comments because I know there's some people out there looking at 12 pairs and you don't need to. You don't need to do that anymore, guys. 
okay? Everybody's saying, wow, wow, wow. 300 to 500 pips minimum, right? So that was through scalping. That was through um, intraday trading, right? Whatever it is your style is, I'm going to show you what you do, okay? So guys, check this out. So you guys know if you've seen it, if you've signed up for um, 20pipsanddip.com, okay? You should have seen my original 20 pips and dip method, all right? Where I tell you to start on an hour chart and then go down to the five minute, okay? Take your entry and everything like that. So I'm going to show you how it correlates, all right? If you guys are ready, make sure that, uh, just let me know in the chat that you have pen, paper, that you're ready to take some notes, okay, on what it is I have to say, okay? All right, I just want to know that you guys are ready. Yo, I think they're ready. All right, let's go. So, guys, I do a, something a little bit different, okay? I get on a daily chart, and I want you guys to be consistent with this, okay? You need to write down the rules. When you go to, um, your chart and when you pick your pair you need to make sure that you have your rules written down in front of you a lot of you all are losing trades because you're doing things that i didn't even say <laughs> that's just straight up you're doing things that's not even in your back office training you're just taking trades because you want to take them and that's not what forex is about it's about being consistent so i start on a daily time frame okay i'm gonna pop my indicator on once we get down to the hour this is a top-down analysis, okay? We're gonna start with a line chart. And all you do, write this down, all you do on the daily is you find the most recent high, okay? And your most recent low, and this is really important, okay? all right this is daily support and resistance all right then we go over to the four hour okay guys y'all following me so far hopefully you are and i'm just gonna do the same thing i usually don't use more than like two or three lines let me change the color real quick and i'm moving fast because i really want this indicator to hop on the screen okay all right, support and resistance. If you don't know what that is, you need to refer back to your back office. That's element number one under technical analysis. Okay, and I'm just gonna use two areas there and then I'm gonna hop down to the hour. Now you guys know on the hour, <clears throat> I was showing you guys how to use the hike and Aishi candles, okay? You guys familiar? Everybody remember that? Original 20 pips and dip, the hour chart, hike and Aishi candles. Mark your candle on the hour, then you can take your entry on a five minute. Now, I know some of you all have been taking your entries on the 15 minute, and that's okay. Also, I wanted to clarify that. I know I take them on the um, five minute. That's, that's particularly because of the lot size that I use. I want to have a more precise entry because I'm going in the market to scalp, right? So whatever it is that you do, however you enter, that's okay. All right? So I'm gonna flip my candles back on the hour. And I wanna show you guys something. On UJ, when was Sunday? Sunday was the 20th? What's today? Thursday? The 21st maybe? Whenever Sunday was, I came over to the chart naked and I looked at it. It was the what? 22nd. The 22nd? 22nd, somewhere right here. I looked at the chart naked and I realized that on the hour, UJ was respecting daily resistance, right? Price ceiling. And so I said, okay. I got the indicator in my hands. Before I did that, you guys write this down. Make sure you draw a trend line. Your trend line needs to be on the hour, okay? 
Your trend line needs to be on the hour because when we talk about market structure, you need to be able to see where did this move originate from? And I don't need to teach you guys this. Cody and Easton do an amazing job in the back office talking about structure, okay? Where did the move originate from? And I know I was teaching this to you guys over and over, talking about how structure is so important, right? Higher highs and higher lows. So when this was being programmed, and I knew that, okay, it was going to keep on doing this here. And I said, you know what? Let's pop our indicator on the chart. Because our indicator for the 20 pips and dip now shows you structure. It shows, can y'all see this? It shows you higher highs, lower highs, higher lows. It shows you bullish and bearish pressure, okay? Y'all see this, it shows you structure. It also has this 50 moving average that I so, so love that I teach you guys that is built in the indicator, okay? You guys also have support and resistance. So you see where I marked this yellow line is daily support. Look how it's lining up exactly with the indicator. This is why I start naked and I start on a, on a daily time frame. Look how it was respected this whole week. It was respected. So in my original 20 pips in dip, right? Zoom. Zoom back here for a second. <clears throat> My original 20 pips and dip, I tell you guys when we're above the 50, write this down, we look for buying opportunities. When we're above the 50, we look for buying opportunities, okay? So look, I drew this trend line naked just like this on a chart and I popped on the indicator, okay? I really want you guys to see how I was able to double my trading account in two days so some of you all struggle with market structure you don't understand when you're at a higher high you don't understand when you're at a lower high now we have something to exactly show you where we are in the market the moving average the 50 moving average it gives the average of 50 candles going left right so once we're above once we're above I know that we're looking for buys. So until we break through, and I drew a trend line on my naked chart. I drew a trend line on my naked chart. So I knew that at some point, because price kept bouncing off the daily time frame, right? That at some point we have to break down. We have to break this structure here. And so I caught all of these pips right here. What was Sunday, the 22nd? during Asian session, let's see. 22nd during Asian session, I hopped on the chart, okay? I see that I marked this green line right here is the hourly, uh, sorry, the four hour support and resistance. I see that we were being respected right here. This is support. I seen price bounce off support, hit my daily resistance. It bounced back and it pulled back to what? My 50, this is why I love keeping it on the chart. The moment I seen it come down during, listen, y'all, I don't think y'all hearing me. When I seen it pull back to the 50, okay, you see this right here? Let me zoom in. So y'all can really see it. There we go. Okay. We pull back. We pulled back all the way to the 50, all right? I knew that we were looking for a buy, all right? Look at this right here. We have um, an alert integrated into the indicator that shows you when bearish, it says sell, and bullish pressure is in the market, okay? How do you know not to get faked out by this? Well, did it completely break below and close? Where was support? Where is your trend line? Where is the 50? Some of y'all are prematurely closing your trades because you have no idea 
what higher highs and higher lows are. So I knew had I had caught this move days before, I could have simply stayed in my trade because structure was not broken. So that's something really, really important to me as a trader to be able to see it. So what did I do on Sunday, Asian session? A lot of people don't even trade Sunday. Hey, I see a setup, I take it, right? So here we are, the 22nd. When I look to enter the market, I take a yellow vertical line, okay? And I mark my candle that I'm looking to enter on the hourly, write that down. On the hourly time frame, I mark that candle with a yellow vertical line because when I drop down to the five minute or if you like to enter on the 15 minute, you need to be able to see, are you getting in a bearish candle and a buying opportunity, you're getting in a bullish candle and a buying opportunity. When you start trading with, with higher lot sizes, you don't want to be in nobody's drawdown, okay? That's just my rule, okay? I want to make sure that I have a sniper entry, all right? So let's pop down to the five-minute chart. And let's go find that candle that's reflecting the candle from the Asian session, somewhere right here, right? So check me out, guys. I hope y'all are excited. I hope y'all fired up because this right here, okay? So this would have been when the hour opened up and, you know, in a higher time frame, this all would have been one candle below the 50. So no, I'm sitting on my hands, right? I'm sitting on my hands and I'm waiting to what? We break above the 50 and close. I wait again. I mark my candle on an hourly time frame. Say, for example, it was 9 p.m. Eastern. That doesn't mean, oh, because on the hourly time frame it's bullish, I'm just going to hop in the trade. No, we pop down to the five minute. We follow the rules. Where are we in structure? Okay. Don't take any buys below this 50 because this would have been straight drawdown. You wait until you see a candle break above and close. Do not hop in trades on open candles. Let that candle close. All right. Boom, market execution. What do I mean by that? You take your phone, you get on MT4, and you hit buy for whatever the pair is that you're trading. I like to mark my candles when I'm trading. So I'll use something like a horizontal ray. All right. Let's say that was my entry. As soon as I enter the trade, I'm going to double click this. This is very important for those of you who are just trading off of your phone or if you're using a tablet, this is so, so important. Let me see the comments real quick. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do two, three different examples. I think it's like freezing. Can you guys still hear me? Yeah, you fine. Yeah, we can hear you. Okay, okay, good, 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 good. All right, so I double click, and this is very important because it came up in the community this week. Coach Max, how do I measure 20 pips? Well, guess what? On trading view, whether it's a trend line, whether it's a horizontal line, whether it's a horizontal ray, I like to use the dotted line, okay? We're gonna go to the coordinates, and let's say I was trading UJ and I hit market execution, and the price I hit on my broker is reflecting 110.180 okay i correct my coordinate hit okay now my line moves to exactly where i entered on my mt4 this is very important okay then i'm going to go to my measurement tool and i'm going to measure 20 pips from my from the broker if you're using lqdfx on uj the spread is about two pips. So, okay, let's go in for 22 pips just to cover that fee for the broker, right? This is my exit. You see this right here? This is how you know you at 22 pips right here. I take another horizontal ray right here. Boom. 
Y'all see this price right here? 110.406. I go into my MetaTrader 4. I hit modify, right? Trade. Hopefully you guys can see on your phone. Let me go in closer. I put in my take profit and I'm done. 20 pips and out. 20 pips and out. Now, depending on what you trade in, this can take 20 minutes. This can take up to an hour, you know, depending on what you're trading. But still, your UJ is definitely big. Love UJ. In and out. That was my first trade. And I put two orders in. So I snatched up 40 pips during Asian session on Sunday. I skipped over London session. Let me go back to the hourly time frame. Okay. I skipped over London that day. I'm going to show you guys something so cool. When you study candlestick patterns, I'm trying to tell you, you cannot lose, right? So where we at? So I skipped over London session. All of this. All of this. No, no, no. London session was this right here. So 8 a.m. Y'all see this time at the bottom? right here let me move it over make sure when you guys are on trading view very important down here it says time zone i know we have traders and we have people on the team from all over the world this is so important because the hourly time frame is one of the key time frames for me so wherever you're located please make sure that you're not just sitting on universal time and you are in your correct time zone because this is important okay wherever you are around the world Make sure you're in the right time zone when you're trading this, right? So look at this, guys. So I skipped over London, New York session, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, the 23rd. That was Monday. Look at this, y'all. <laughs> where are we sitting at? I want to I wanna zoom in so y'all can see this. Where are we sitting at? Okay, the market created a lower high, and when the market creates a lower high, I know that that to me in the uptrend just means a pullback. And where did it pull back to? The All right, one second. Right here around 9 a.m. I hopped in the trade. Hey, doing Matt. the same thing yeah can you, can you hear me can you repeat that last part you froze just for about 15 seconds okay okay not a problem so you guys i was saying on sunday okay i took the the um 20 pips okay and then i skipped over london session okay at 8 a.m eastern i came to the chart with this indicator and i was saying look where it pulled back to. When the market creates a lower high, I know in an uptrend that just means it's a pullback, okay? The market moves in waves. That's why market structure is so important. And mind you guys, I still have my trend line drawn. All right, guys, I can see the comments and the call is frozen just for a second. Let's see if our signal doesn't come back. If you guys can hear me, give me a one in the chat box just so I know. Make sure the whole call is not frozen. All right. All right, you're back and forth. Max, you're, you're, you're um, freezing in and out just a little bit. Hold on one second, y'all. Hold on one second. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, Everybody I can. Everybody hear me now? Yep, perfect. Good, thank you. All right, so pull back to the 50, you guys. I waited till 9 a.m. Eastern right here. And I went in for another buy, okay? Same deal. Pop down to the five minute. And I'm gonna show you guys what happened on Tuesday. One second. Let's find that candle. Uh, let me delete these rays. 
Guys, this is super, super, super easy. This is like the easiest template I ever used in the world. Okay, so this was the 9 a.m. Eastern candle. When I pop down to the five minute, guys, now we're talking about price action, which is a part of my original strategy. This is a doji candle, okay? This is an indecisive candle. However, on this candle, it says buy. However, the original 20 pips and dip states we do not take buys until we are what? Above the 50. So this right here, once it closed, was my entry candle, right? Same deal. Market execution on your phone. All right, horizontal ray. Double click. Correct your coordinates. Measure 20 pips. Okay. All right, let's go about 22. All right. Look at this, guys. This is a five minute chart. Five, 10, 15, 20 minutes, you're done. 20 pips and dip. Get out the trade. Right? Here's something cool that happened. So that was 9 a.m. I was still on the chart Monday watching. Just watching. I like to watch every hour on the hour. That's a nugget, y'all. When you're scalping. True, true, true. And something interesting happened on Monday. What happened on Monday? Well, the next candle at 10 o'clock, we got the... <laughs> We got the indicator that says buy again. This is to my scalpers. I don't know about y'all, but if I see this right here, it's showing bullish pressure. I know I'm in an uptrend. Guess what? I snatched up 20 pips again. I hope y'all are hearing me. I don't know. Let me look at the chat. I hope y'all are hearing me and seeing what I'm seeing <laughs> and hearing what and, and seeing what happened in two days. They said they love it. Wonderful. Guess what happened next? So that was New York session. I snatched up 20 pips times two, right? Then I skipped over for a couple hours. Let's see. I left the market alone. Let's see, 5 p.m. This is 5 p.m. Eastern. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. This is Asian session, right? Right here. 11. So Asian session, right? Following the rules. Yes, even though I see that we're at resistance and we're at daily, um, the daily resistance. And yes, it's showing that this is to sell, right? But the rules state if we're above the 50, you don't want to be selling up here. It's risky, right? We're going to wait until the market pulls back, which it did. So right around 11 o'clock, I was kind of watching, and I seen how it lined up with my trend line, right? So I was like, hold up. Am I seeing a pattern? I popped my indicator off. I'm about to blow y'all mind real quick. This is when you really study in the candlestick Bible and when you're really paying attention to patterns. Do y'all see this right here? What, what is this? Let me see if is there's some traders in here. What is this right here, y'all? What pattern is this? Nice little triple top. What pattern is this, y'all? Let me see if it's some traders in here. What pattern do you see? This is my experienced traders. Yeah. This is a triple top pattern, y'all. I seen it, and I was like, hold up. Wait a minute. <laughs> I About seen it. Get some pips in it. <laughs> About to get some... <laughs> <laughs> I like that, Josh. <laughs> I seen a triple top pattern. So me seeing a triple top pattern, I knew that when we hit this trend line, that I could snatch up another 20 pips going back up, back to this resistance, y'all. And that's what I did. So we talking 20 here, 20 here. 20 here, and I did it twice. So we talked really 40, 40, 
what is that? No, no, no. Actually, I took this trade all the way up to resistance. That's how I caught that 150 pips on Sunday, but y'all leave me alone. Okay, but yeah, I snatched up the 20 pips. I put one entry in for 20 pips and I let the other one ride based on structure. When you guys start recognizing these patterns and it kept bouncing, 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 and guess what happened today? Today's the 26. We broke what? We broke structure right here. How do you know that? Well, look at this line right here. You see this red line? You see this indicator telling you to sell? You see this resistance right here, respecting daily resistance? Once we broke my trend line, it was game over. It was game over. Do y'all hear me? The market fell how many pips in the last what? 24 hours or so i've been selling uj i don't know what y'all been doing it dropped 214 pips so you have a lot of opportunity to come in here if you was trading this i think some some of y'all took these trades too because i was posting my videos and y'all was telling me y'all was selling uj today look at this y'all sell right here sitting on my four hour um resistance we broke through the trend line structures broken right here what are you doing? Take the sell. Same deal. Same deal. Vertical line. Today is the 26th. I hopped in. New York session. Right here. That's beautiful. Beautiful trade. Look how, listen. Can't nobody tell me about structure. I don't even want to hear it. Can't nobody tell me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness i hope y'all are fired up in the instance of a sell guys look at this i didn't even really hop in right here this was exactly 8 a.m it pulled up to what let me zoom in so these so these beautiful people can see how well this respects this 50 moving average do y'all see this right here this is a what lower high right Look at this. This is the 50 moving average. This, these dots, they're representing resistance. This was the 8 a.m. hourly candle. Once the market pulled up to the 50, this is perfect entry. This right here, perfect entry. You measure 20 pips. When you hit your market execution, 5, 10, 15 minutes. In and out, 20 pips and dip. And if you was really following UJ today, you take your 20 pips and dip right here. You wait till the market pulls back up. I don't think they hear me. Take it again. Y'all should have been pipping and dipping all day today. All Man, let me get all these candles in here all day today. <laughs> wow. You understand what I'm saying? If y'all are excited, <laughs> I'm going to let Josh say, Josh, I'm going to take me a sip of my water. Look, if you're <laughs> fired up, I need a big old 777 in the chat box right now. Listen, if you're excited to catch a lot more than seven pips, we dip in and catch in 20 pips. I need a big 2020 <laughs> in the chat box. I, what, what's exciting about this is the fact that it's so simple to understand. So many times when people approach the Forex markets, they just have such a hard time understanding what they're looking at. As long as you don't let the busyness, you could say, of this chart intimidate you and you understand how simple it is. It's just showing you structure. It's just showing you where you're having um, sell pressure, where you're having buy pressure and where the best place is to get in. Another thing that Max and I were talking about is you also, when a trade like this really begins to move, if you're hands-on and you're scalping it, you could also then set your stop loss at 20 pips if it's moved beyond 20 pips. And now at that point, you're guaranteed to catch 20 pips at the minimum, and you can continue to catch the rest of your move, and you just want to scale that stop loss in profit 
as you go more and more to ensure that you're getting a guaranteed profitable trade, okay? If you have two positions, you know, let's say that you closed one at 20 pips and then you came in and entered your stop loss 20 pips in profit. So you take, you have the chance to catch that entire move. But if it does pull back, and you can see here, if you did, if you would have done that, you wouldn't have got the pullback that would have closed out your position. It would have continued to move down and you could Correct. have potentially called 150 to 200 plus pips. Correct. And so let me, let me show you guys exactly what Josh is talking about. So when you enter your trade on your phone, you guys know you got that little red line that looks something like this here. That's yep. your entry, right? Exactly what it looks like on MC4. <clears throat> Listen, I'm over here trying to be fancy on a Thursday. Y'all y'all bear with me. Yo, this thing's going so good. My wife's over here making popcorn right now. You know it's lit. <laughs> <laughs> so this is this is your entry, right? When you mark your execution and you will also have your TP. So let's do 20 pips. That's 60. My goodness. 20 pips something like this is your tp this is what it will look like on your phone then you would set a 20 pip stop loss right so this is how you're able to lock in your profit so this would have been your stop loss right i want this to be clear you guys can really understand what I'm trying, what Josh is saying, because this is powerful stuff right here. This is take profit, right? So check this out. This is called a stop profit. So in this instance, this was a clear trend, guys, because this right here, it broke structure. Broke structure. Number one, number two, it broke the fifty. We also broke four hours support um, as well, right? So. When that happened and you, you know, you did everything else and you hit enter, you bring your stop loss in front of your entry. This is now your stop profit and you bring it to 20 pips. Yep. So that means no matter what happens, if the market had happened to retrace, you still would have locked in your 20 pips. But in this case, the market did a continuation based on trend. And how do you know that? Market structure, guys. The market created what? Lower lows, lower highs, lower lows. That means that the market is just continuing in its trend until whenever it decides to break structure again. But remember, in the beginning, I drew what? I drew, um, sorry, I marked up daily support. This yeah. is why this is important. Now, I can't predict what the market is going to do, but I know that the market respects daily resistance. Look at this, guys. This is one, two, three. I mean, how many times did it pull back before it broke structure at yeah. this daily resistance? If I zoom out, let me clear this off real quick. If I zoom out, Sheesh. you can't tell me that the market didn't respect this daily support level. So you could have just took this ride. <laughs> ride the good ride, y'all. This is how you're going to be able to catch a lot of pips and know when to continue on in the trend because this indicator is showing you structure. Okay? And this is why I love, love, love the 50, but I still continue to draw trend lines. Right? And, you know, master traders would tell you, go to the daily time frame. Let's hide the indicator one more time. Master traders will tell you, go to the daily time frame, right? Let me give y'all a golden nugget. I want a golden nugget. Show y'all something real quick. I can't give y'all too much sauce. <laughs> Master traders will tell you on the, daily on the daily time frame to draw a trend line wherever the move began. Right. So if I draw a trend line right now, y'all, look at this. Right. So let's say this didn't happen. This is what moving into tomorrow. Let's say we was yesterday and we we drew a trend line just like that. And you know this is a valid trend line because we have two two one two three four touches. You want at least two to three touches for it to be a valid trend line, right? 
I'm just giving y'all some game real quick so y'all can know to, to really understand market structure. When we pop down back to the hourly time frame, this would have been considered an inter-trend line. This would have consi be considered the actual real trend line, the outer trend line for the actual trend because at the bottom of this trend is when the higher highs and higher lows started. Let me put this indicator back on because so y'all can see what I'm saying and I don't look like I'm crazy, right? At the bottom of that outer trend line is when this structure began. I hope somebody learning something on here, the higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high. This is when this structure began to rally all the way up. So look at this now today, let me show y'all something. <laughs> now today, had you had entered the market here and you had this trend line drawn, you could have at least rode this and this could have been your TP because the market respects Look, look at all this. Con this is confluence, y'all. When you have at least three confirmations, we broke the 50, so I know we're in a downtrend. My indicator is showing me lower lows, okay? It's showing me bearish pressure. I have my outer trend line here drawn, and we respected my four-hour support. Take the trade and stop playing. <laughs> Take the trade and stop playing. So that's pretty much it, y'all. If y'all have any questions, I would love, love, love to answer them for you right now. I hope somebody's fired up and excited. Yeah, I think everybody 50. just wants access to it. <laughs> the 50, um, Melissa, is integrated into the indicator. You don't have to do nothing. Listen, look, look, look. You don't see it? Now you do. Everything is integrated, so you no longer have to go up here and go look for um, exponential moving average. You don't have to do none of that. Everything is integrated, everything that you need to see, okay? And for my newbies, I'm not sure if I have some new traders on here. I want to pull something up real quick, okay, that I teach you guys all the time when we're doing training. You guys hear me speaking of, um, see, there's some new traders on here. I already knew. That's why I prepared myself. Y'all hear me speaking of a lot of Forex terminology. And so I don't know if you guys have yet seen this amazing Tradera launch manual that we put together, guys. This launch manual has on the inside a few, um, few pages and it has two week study guide, a step-by-step -step guide to get you in the market within two weeks flat, okay? Everything inside of here, when we start on day two, this is exactly the videos in your back office that you need to look at, which is why the 20 pips and dip work so effectively because it goes right hand in hand with what is being taught in the back office, support and resistance, trend identification, understanding trend lines, market structure. There's a reason why the whole entire unit is here. Market structure is so important, right? Price action is those candles, right? Risk management, understanding, are you going to do a one-to-one, -one, 20 pip stop loss, 20 pip take profit? You got to understand that stuff and not over leverage your account. And we're going to talk about leverage in just a second to close this out. The intraday trading strategy, that's, you know, holding your trades a little bit longer. Go ahead and sit down. Holding your trades a little bit longer, you know, maybe today, take it off tomorrow, maybe start in London, take it off, you know, after New York session. It just really depends on you, right? So all of that is back here. This is the strategy that the company recommends. The 20 pip and dip is just a simple way for newbies to get started and get started trading now. I recommend to you guys two to three pairs to follow. I prove to you guys, if you go on my Facebook page, scroll back to Sunday, I've only traded one pair all week. I haven't had to look at anything else. Now, I do have three pairs that I trade because sometimes the market doesn't give you a move right away, right? So you may be able to go mark something else up. You may be able to go look at something else. Just because, you know, you see somebody else trading gold doesn't mean that you need to be trading gold. Choose three pairs according to your lifestyle. That's a golden nugget according to your lifestyle, right? So if you um, live in um, California, I believe London session starts at like midnight or 1 a.m., something like that, choose GBP USD, your USD, if you stay up at that time. If you work um, second shift, right, 
you know, which is three to 11. You can trade New York session, choose a pair that correlates during that time like UJ or USD Swiss franc or USD CAD, right? Choose something that correlates with your lifestyle so you're not struggling to wake up in the middle of the night or, you know, struggling to hop on at this time, hop on at that time and not really having the time to be able to consistently follow um, those pairs, right? One thing I do want to tell you, please try to commit to two to three live sessions a week, okay? I teach right now at least once a week. We have www.20pipsanddip.com. You guys need to go ahead and register if you have not already to see the original strategy so you understand how it correlates with this indicator, okay? We have a trading plan. I see a lot of you all in the community sharing different plans. Stop it. We have a plan for you right here. <laughs> like we've literally laid it all out for you, which is so much fun. And I love, love, love um, what was done with this. So now you're able to put in your balance for whatever it is you want to start with. I recommend $50 at bare minimum. Okay. And now you're able to change the aggression setting. It tells you the lot size. You're going in for 20 pips. It tells you your profit, okay, and your new balance once you take that trade. So, guys, look at this. Super conservative means that I'm really, 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 really not over leveraged, like really taking it easy on this account. But you can turn a $50 account being super conservative, starting at 20 cents per pip, and take this all the way up to $6,000. Now, I don't know, in 30 trades, by the way, and that's being super conservative. I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely think this, if you think this is powerful, <laughs> this is being super conservative. That means within one, two, three, four, five, six trades, I've doubled my trading account. Do you guys see now when I tell you on Sunday, I took 40 pips, so that was two trades. Then Monday doing New York session, I took two trades right then literally by tuesday morning i have doubled my trading account this i'm showing you guys how now if you want to change your aggression you can do like if it'll let me do it conservative moderate aggressive super aggressive super aggressive is the original plan that we had in place starting at a 0 0.05 and it takes you up to 11k okay this can be done. It's really about how conservative you want to be. And we're giving you guys the option to do it. We have the trading plan in place for you to be successful here at Tradera. Okay, guys. So I'm super fired up and excited. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this training. I hope that you guys want to get your hands on this indicator ASAP. If you guys got some value from this training, if you're brand new and excited, to be here with us on this team here at Lit Trey House, here in Tradera, guys. Go ahead and drop a 111 in the chat right now. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Let's get hey, it, hey. y'all. Hey, hey, hey. I, I'm, go I'm going to reiterate something for those of y'all that missed it. I told y'all we are only granting access and restricting access over the weekend. So if you're asking... How do you get it now? We watch the replay. Because <laughs> I told you that it wasn't going to happen today or tomorrow, guys. Um, Max froze again. <laughs> yeah, this weekend, because we're starting live sessions next week. So um, I'm here. Hopefully, you guys can hear me. Go ahead, David. I'm sorry. I can hear you. Oh, 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 oh no. I, I hear you. I see your face frozen. Okay. <laughs> Frozen two over there. <laughs> yes, I'm super they excited. I hope you guys excited. Me, Josh, and David and the programmer work so hard to get this thing on point. And I feel like it's on point, guys. I caught a lot of pips this week. The traders that's been testing it out, <laughs> they've been catching tons of pips. You guys are gonna be so profitable. I hope that you guys see the value that we're trying to bring. Again, you have to be active to get your hands on this. They said they blown away. <laughs> I think we outdone ourselves, guys. What you think? <laughs> yeah, look, listen, they, they, they don't want to know my pip count. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> look, this is being recorded. <laughs> exactly. 
Exactly. That's how come I'm not even going to tell them. I'm, 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 I'm going to keep that. <laughs> Yo, I'll put it like this, guys. This this is something that is revolutionizing everything that we've came to do here with Tradera. You know, it, it, it's from an education company, people making money, copying and pasting. But we're moving into a place now where we're really here to educate the masses and help people understand how simple this can be, okay? So the live sessions are going to be absolutely phenomenal. If you did not hear, you're going to be able to bring your guests on these calls so they can actually watch us live, catch tips in the market. So like I say all the time, documentation beats conversation. You get your people on, they see us trade live, and at that point, they see us catching these pips like that. And then at that point, you know what we're going to do? We're going to dip out and enjoy our night, and we're going to help them go ahead and get started, okay? So listen, everyone give a lot of love for Coach Max. Everyone give a lot of love for David. This is a phenomenal leadership team that we put together. And I'm telling you guys, what's going to happen the next 30, 60, 90, 180, 360 days is going to change the game. We are going to be the number one Forex education company in the world. I don't care who's out there right now. What I know is at a $99 price point and all of the value that we provide, this is hands down the best opportunity in the Forex market. No hype, no BS, pure results and a ton of value given when we could charge a lot more for it. But our focus is the people. Our focus is the people winning. And this is a place where we can really do something beautiful. So guys, I want to just say thank you so much, Coach Max and David, for everything that y'all have done. And I am fired up. Here's a really, really big thing that I want to make sure all of you understand. If anybody is inactive in your organization right now, you need to reach out to them and let them know that they cannot get access to this indicator unless they go ahead and upgrade their account back to being active, okay? So go through your organization, see who isn't active, write their names down, send them a message and say, listen, if you didn't watch the recording, I'll get you access to see the recording. But if you do not get active right now, it's going to be at minimum a week before you can get access to this indicator. And there's nothing more annoying than watching everybody else around you make money with an indicator that you don't have access to because you didn't do the right thing at the right time. David, you have something you want to share, brother? Yeah, I was just going to say, and make sure it is an active client membership. Yep. Listen, I, 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 don't, I don't care. I don't care if the person is emperor. If they don't have a client membership, they're not Out of here. Access. Listen, I really, I, I really don't care because at the end of the day, you know, at the end of the day, if you're paying to learn how to trade, then you get access to the tools that help yep. you learn how to trade. Yep. Um, if you're not, then I'm not going to give you access to something that enhances traders' education. Yep. If you're not invested in traders' education, so um, active client memberships, and actually. I'll, I'll say this, if you do this and your team and your prospects get out of the calls that will be announced over this weekend, um, just watch what happens to your organization next week. I'll, I'll just leave it at that. Man, man. Listen, guys, this is about to explode your organizations. The big thing that you guys understand is when people have results, we can build this thing at a rate that people could only imagine. And I want to say this, this is a trading call, but I want to make one thing very clear. If you're not sharing this with people already, get the results and then talk to people. I think it's a disservice and dare I say an injustice. If you have results and you aren't sharing this with other people, because here is my question to you. Imagine if someone would have never shown you. Seriously. On a lot of the trainings and stuff that I do, I talk about it often, that if you do not go tell someone, there's a good chance that no one else will. And at that point, you're leaving someone that you say that you care about, that you love, that's a friend, that's an acquaintance. You're leaving them in a situation where they never can get the same knowledge. And here's the fact. You think the banks are going to share this with people? I'm going to put it cleanly. Hell no. Nah. The banks aren't educating the masses on this. The wealthy is not educating the masses on this. So we have to be the ones who do it, okay? So much love to all you guys. Make sure you get your team active right now. Pay attention to the news that's going to be dropped the next 48 hours so you can get access to the indicator coming up this weekend so you can use it starting on 
Monday. Much love to all you guys fired up about what's going on. Once again, throw a 777 in the chat box if you just enjoyed this live training and you are going to make sure that all of your team has access to this indicator and upgrade their account to be an active customers. All right, I'll see you all in the next training. It's going to be some fun this next week. We're going to catch a whole lot of pips and a whole lot of people are about to be joining this Tradera business at a rate and momentum that we have yet seen. And I'll tell you this, 10,000 people have joined the last 90 to 120 days. T David, how many people have joined? Max, how many people have joined the last I have 14,000 people in my downline right now. Yep. 14,000 14, people in my downline. Yep. I have over um a thousand people on the team making residual income and i have tons of hundreds of traders guys in a community all over the world spread across 50 different countries catching pips come on now guys there's no other company i've seen in the forex space that has done it this fast the way that we've done it and i'm super proud of that Fourteen thousand people in the downline okay <laughs> at least a thousand people making residual income beyond $500 a month. Come on, y'all. This is the place to be. Like Josh said, why not share this with somebody? Let me tell you guys something. If you have not yet hit founder, let's get that done by Sunday. Let's go. Let's go. Make sure you and some people are also going to have the ability to win with this. We'll see you all in the next training. Have a great night, everyone. This has been fun. Cheers, guys. Good night.